you probably already seen and read pretty much all about Nvidia's new 40 series graphics cards, the RTX 4090 and the 4080 series cards. So I won't be going into any of that in today's video, I spent time analyzing what was said at the event and what was left out and what I'm instead going to talk about in this video is what Nvidia didn't say at the event, hopefully answering some of you guys' questions. So with that said, let's jump right into the video and let's quickly talk about the RTX 4080 which now isn't a single card anymore but a series of cards. In the first glance, you would think that the only thing keeping these two apart is the memory size, but if we take a deeper dive into the specifications, we soon find out that that isn't necessarily the case. So first up, we have the GeForce RTX 4080 16GB variant, which packs 9728 CUDA cores, it features a boost clock of 2.51GHz and a 256-bit bus interface, as well as a 320W TGP. Pricing is set to $1200. In terms of release date, no date specified, however it should be available sometimes in November. There is also the RTX 4080 12GB variant, which drops the amount of memory to 12GB. But it also gets a decrease in bandwidth from 256 down to 192. The 12GB model also gets fewer CUDA cores with only 7680 clock twos 2.61GHz as well as a 285TGP and a price tag of $900. So, we're basically looking at two GeForce RTX 4080 GPUs with vastly different specifications. Now this to me looks super confusing, I'm not gonna lie, especially considering the amount of different namings that Nvidia has at their disposal, like TI for example, we've seen Super as well as Ultra. Nvidia could have done this so much easier for us. Anyway, after watching the event, Nvidia discussed the RTX 4080 series, highlighting the difference in memory. We got the 16GB variant as well as the 12GB variant, making it seem like that that is the main difference you're paying for. Taking a look at this picture here would make the RTX 4080 12GB variant seem like a much better value, considering you're paying $300 less for the same performance. Well again, that is until you look at the specifications and you discover that that isn't the case at all. Now if you take a look at the performance, it becomes pretty clear that even though they have the same name, they perform vastly different. Well, the 16GB variant is about 25% faster. Now imagine guys, you didn't know anything about this and you were thinking about purchasing either of these two GPUs and you saw the same name with the difference being the memory size, how would you even know? Now imagine the amount of gamers picking the cheaper card expecting the same RTX 4080 experience. To me this is pretty damn disappointing. To summarize the event guys, the cheapest GPU shown cost $900. And this is a far cry from the last event, RTX 30 series, where the 3080 pricing was 699 and the RTX 3070 was priced at 499 Anyway, speaking of the RTX 3070, Nvidia didn't mention neither the 4070 nor the 4060. So yeah, it is safe to assume that these GPUs are at least a few months away. Now, historically, Nvidia has hold off on mid-tier GPUs for at least 3-6 to six months after the initial top tier 80 and 90 lineup. Now add to the fact that rumors have also suggested a release in 2023 and if that wasn't enough, we know that Nvidia still has a large inventory of 30 series GPUs to sell, Ethereum mining now being over, marking the end of the GPU shortage. So if you want to build a powerful PC for cheap right now, I would definitely say pull the trigger, in fact 
the 30 series GPUs are dropping in price and we still have no idea how Nvidia will price the 4060 and the 4050. Now something Nvidia also talked about, something that really got me excited was the LSS 3.0 which looks phenomenal. They did show it in both Flight Simulator and Cyberpunk where the FPS was more or less doubled with the LSS activated. Now if you're a bit out of the loop, Nvidia's new DLSS 3 technology adds DLSS frame generation and Nvidia Reflex on top of the DLSS Super Resolution to boost the frame rate even more. The only bummer is that it only works on RTX 40 series GPUs, but the cheapest GPU currently starting at $899. Now, Nvidia did mention that the 30 series GPU support is theoretically possible, but as it stands right now, it remains exclusive for the RTX 40 series. I bet you guys, when AMD shows off the Radeon RX 7000 and explains that FSR 3.0 has native support for all the Radeon based GPUs, Nvidia will magically make the LSS 3.0 work on older RTX cards as well. Just wait and see guys. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts of the event and the RTX 40 series. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos and I will catch you guys in the next video.